だけどだから結構意外に軽いもうここからはここからは本当にもう基礎になるかもしれないですけど僕的に僕的にどっちだけやっていいかクラレンス・ケネディって、まあ、もちろんご存じですよあーそのケースそうやす、the video title is true。I am going to Japan and I'm meeting up with Toshiki。and not only that、I'm also going with Seeker Strength、so Owen and Dara。And I'm going with Zach. So we're gonna make loads of good videos over there. Really looking forward to it. I'm gonna be in Japan for two weeks. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun.、Um, Japan's a country I wanted to go to for a long time.、Uh, we're kind of planning on going there in 2021, but obviously, you know why that didn't happen.、Um, but yeah, that's what. I've been training for the past couple of months, but unfortunately, like two months ago,、um, had a pretty bad injury.、Um, it was a few weeks, it was a two weeks after that 200 kilo clean and jerk I uploaded.、Um, I tried to do a 210 kilo clean,、um, messed up the rack position, messed up both my shoulders, so haven't been <laughs> able to go heavy in Olympic looks at all, and honestly, Kind of, kind of, it's kind of demotivated after that with training. But here's a nice cat on the way to the gym. Very friendly. But yeah,、uh, it's a shame.、Uh, that was kind of like a freak accident. Like, it wasn't a very serious injury. I didn't need to go to the hospital or anything, but、uh, I haven't been able to go heavy in Olympic lifts ever since that.、Um, so. Been kind of just、uh, casually training.、Um, still able to do snatch clean and jerk, just not that heavy.、Um, pretty confident to go up to like 120, 150. But anything above that is a bit scary on my shoulder. Left shoulder is worse than my right shoulder, but both got injured. Just went a bit light because I was planning on doing a bit of tricking. Um, I'm trying to get back into tricking again because I'm also going to Korea.、Um, I was in Korea, what was it, a few years ago.、Um, my friend Devon lives over there and he's a tricker. So I have to be in tricking shape when I go there. I find that I only need to do a couple of sessions with tricking to get back into tricking shape. So just doing some casual tricking sessions. It's very weird because、uh, the last time I tricked、um, before all this was like, I don't know, two years ago. That time with Hayden. And here's me、uh, in a different gym afterwards because、um, I wanted to get to a shop on time、uh, <laughs> on the way back from that other gym. So I just went to the gym a tiny bit later just to do some bench press. And bench press is like one of the only upper body exercises that. I can do.、Um, strict press is still like sore on my shoulder, but I'm able to go pretty heavy on the bench press and progress. So at least that's like one upper body exercise I'm able to progress with. If you guys want to see footage of me pole dancing, you can check that out on my OnlyFans. I mean, Patreon, where for only $1, you can watch hundreds of exclusive videos, not on YouTube. Also, There's weightlifting and powerlifting programs on my website, as well as the beginner's guide to weightlifting ebook, which many people are enjoying. Also, you'll find t shirts for sale with some cool designs. Thanks for supporting my channel, and now back to the video.、Um, and here is a walk through the park, and I was looking for a tricking spot in this park.、Um, everything was uphill. It's a very nice park, but everything was uphill. But I found this relatively flat area, and honestly, this is probably the first time、um, I stretched in like four years or something, <laughs> like static stretching.、Um, yeah. Here is just some basic kicks to warm up. 
that is a tornado. So it's quite interesting comparing tricking to whale thing at the moment. With tricking, I need to spend so much time warming up just because I don't do it often. And it's been like two years since I did it. Um, but if I did it more frequently, like I did a whale thing, certainly wouldn't need to spend that much time warming up. And even those basic tricks didn't feel that good, but I'm sure with more sessions, uh, it'll start to feel better. I just want to get to the stage where I'm able to like pull off a backflip or a basic trick without warming up. Um, when I'm in that state, I just feel more electric. Um, like at the moment, I'm kind of just like scared to pull off a random trick on concrete. But yeah, um, after the walk back home, um, decided to make a meal. So this is me making a soup. So here are the ingredients. Potato, red onion, tomato, carrot, um, broccoli, red cabbage, sweetheart cabbage, cucumber, eggplant, and some frozen kale. So before I throw in a bunch of water, first throw in a bit of olive oil and fry half of the vegetables I have there. So that is cut up red onion. I'm gonna cut up a bunch of other vegetables. Here's me cutting up the eggplant. And here's me awkwardly pushing in all these vegetables. And I threw in a bunch of these spices. So garlic, curry, turmeric, black pepper, and some hot seasoning. And later I threw in these um, baby broad beans. But you can throw in um, any legume you want, like uh, peas, chickpeas. Red split lentils works really well in this as well. And this is after frying the vegetables for a while. Before I throw in the water, I um, usually throw in um, two chopped tomatoes. Mix it around. And in some water and the rest of the vegetables so that is the potato carrots and the cucumber and now I'm throwing in the broad beans and cutting up some broccoli I like cutting up like that because I find when I do it on the chopping board it just goes everywhere and since I'm going to Japan I'm preparing myself by putting in some miso and adding in some plain protein powder. So I blend that up and just threw it in there. Halfway through the boiling process. So all you have to do here is very easy. You just let it boil for a very long time on low heat setting. If you're very lazy, you can just throw in literally everything at once and throw in the water, throw in the seasoning and just let it boil. Sometimes I do that, but it turns out better if you uh, fry the vegetables first. So after that finished boiling, just got my own portion there and threw on some additional salad. And I like doing this sometimes, just crushing some walnuts on top. Really adds to the flavor. So yeah, that is the soup. That's how I usually make soup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this casual video. Stay tuned for the Japan videos. Definitely gonna put a lot more work into those. Yeah, there's gonna be so many good videos coming out of that trip. Um, I'm really looking forward to it.